I still can't believe just how quick this year is going. It's the end of August, which means it's the last week we will be working on our Naboo neighborhood tower. Star Wars themed modular tower. If you haven't been following, we started with Tatooine Tower. We're now onto Naboo neighborhood, and I have already revealed what I'm gonna be working on next week in September, October, November, December, and then it's 2025. I'm not trying to wish away the year already, but I actually popped into Morrison's the other day and they already have all of their Christmas cakes, mince pies, and all their Christmas themed sweets. And these squashies are really, really nice. They're apple pie flavored and strawberry ice cream, which doesn't sound like it works together. And together they are a bit odd, but separately, both really cool flavors. Anyway, let's take a look at the city because there are a few things I want to update. This week, we're working on the roof for the Naboo Tower. So we're gonna finish it off polish it up and there are a few different things I have in mind. In fact, before we even get to looking at the Naboo modular, I've got a few new speeders in the city. I have moved this 501st speed up from my other display, which is an all build of the 501st battle pack from 2020. It's the AT RT Walker and the Bark Speeder battle pack. And I have built alts for both of them, but behind it, we've also got the brand new Outlaw Speeder, which if you weren't aware, I did build Outlaws in Lego based off the poster. I think the game should be out for early access and I do believe it comes out Friday for everyone else. So definitely check out that video if you're interested in the game at all or just wanna see Outlaws built in Lego because it wasn't included in the Skywalker Saga and there's not really any chance of us getting any Lego content from it at all, especially after only getting BD-1 from the Jedi series. But now looking at the Naboo Tower, you can see there is a planet series on top, and that is because we're gonna use half of this sphere to create the roof of the Naboo modular. It's something I took from an old mock I saw. I can't remember who it's from, but I'm sure so many people have used it for a Naboo mock, and it just works so well being that green color. Preferably it wants to be one solid color and quite polished, but as it is an outside building, I think it works well having the different streaks and that marblescent effect in it. So we will get this to the table because I also want to add a few leaves on the side of the lake house above the Otagunga lake tunnel and also add something out front. The first thing we're gonna tackle is the leaves on this top layer. This is meant to represent the Naboo Lake House and there are a lot of leaves climbing up the side of it. So on this right hand side where I know there won't be any other modulars, cause on the left, this is gonna be flush with, I'm not quite sure yet, but there will be something there. On the right hand here, I've got two of these one by four snot bricks that I can place in, perhaps one near the top, one at the bottom, and you've probably already noticed my draw of leaf elements. This isn't all of them, but this is the majority that I own. So I'm gonna get some of the bigger ones and perhaps add some leaves to make it look like it is coming out of the wall all the way down to the top of this lake, which is a micro scout otter gunga. And then once we've done that, we can move on to actually building the roof. And wow, did that turn out a little better than I was expecting. It does look really, really good. And even from the front just adds that extra not squared off side, which I think is definitely needed in the Lego City, especially while all the other modulars are quite squared off. This half of a planet is gonna be going on top. And this is gonna be quite tricky because the edges of it just about sit there on the top of that modular. I think we're working with a 10 by 10 square, but we're gonna need it to lip inside as well. So I'm hoping for it to slightly bulge over the sides and I do have a few hinge techniques I'm gonna be trying over the next couple of minutes, potentially even hours, depending on how this goes. But I'm not gonna make you sit through all the different attempts. I'm gonna show you what did work. And if there's any good ones, I might show you them as well, just as long as we've got something in the corner to enable it to hook onto the platform below. And the grand reveal in three, two, one. I actually think it did turn out pretty cool. If we can get rid of that monitor glare, perhaps bringing it down would be a bit easier to see. And you can see it's not perfect. I definitely would have loved to have hidden the gray hinge plates. And technically you could if you got these in a lighter tan, I'm pretty sure they do exist in a light tan or dark tan color would also go well with this. The roof does stick out a little bit from the planet, which is what I wanted. You could 
do this on the inside of the dome, which we'll take a look at in just a second, and that will better hide any of the hinge bricks you use. But on the inside, I left room for this floating mini kit, which if you've played any of the Lego games, you'll know there's always a mini kit somewhere up high. So in this lake house in the city, there is a hidden mini kit just up in the dome of the roof, which I really wanted to do. And we are getting a mini kit in the advent. So I guess I'll get these pieces back in a few weeks, which is quite handy. But if you do want to build a mini kit before the advent comes out, literally this weekend, the advent's coming out. This year's going by so quickly, then definitely check out my Rebrickable because the instructions for that and also the Kyber Brick from the Skywalker Saga are up for free. So perhaps I can hide a Kyber Brick somewhere else around the Lego City. But before we go, there's a few other things that I want to add. First off, on top of this roof, I would like to include a bird, in this case, an owl specifically, because we are missing the wildlife with this. I guess we've got some of the nature aspect with the tree, the plants. I really like how green and colorful this is, especially with the different shapes all around and the giant window at the front, which allows you to see into the throne room, which does keep up with the Naboo architecture, but also out front on the street, like I mentioned right at the very start of this video, I do want to add something to the street. And they're just these simple flower pots because when you're playing Skywalker Saga, there are these flower pots absolutely everywhere. And I also want to add a little market stall out the front of the Tatooine, out the front of the cantina on the Tatooine Tower, because again, Tatooine is full of these different stalls selling food and other bits and bobs. So I think it ties the modulars in to the actual street. So let's place this in the Lego city. And now we've got Naboo neighborhood in the city. It is really coming together. It looks so much better than Tatooine Tower than the, I don't know, we need to name the, I guess it's just the Lego store tower and the friends tower. They're very bulky. And this just looks like it fits into a regular I guess landscape of some sorts. There's not really much regular to it, but I like the change in shape. And if you look just down at the bottom, you'll be able to see past the hustle and bustle of the queue to the Lego store, the flower pots. And hopefully as we get a few more towers, we can fill these minifigures into them because I tend not to keep my Lego Star Wars minifigures in here. You can see Tatooine Tower does have one of the mini dolls because my Lego Star Wars minifigures are just above up here so i think the only exception is in mos eisley cantina the minute i am storing the aliens but i'm sure i'll probably move them out for some other lego themes eventually probably at the dc superheroes sat around there just like they were in the superhero calf but you can see the street is busy it looks like a very london street jam-packed and most of these people are queuing up if we follow the queue all the way around into the Lego store, which will be refurbished at some point soon. Next month, we are gonna build the next tower. Again, no spoilers in this video. If you want to know what we are building, check out my recent Q&A that I posted like a week ago. And the answer is about halfway through the video to save you skipping through the whole lot. But we're gonna start work on that in October. And then I think we'll probably leave it there. I mean, that in September, and then we get round to October. I don't know if I will be polishing up these. I'll probably tackle the Tatooine Tower and then over November, December, I will probably leave the city where it is until next year when we can look at getting the Black Spire Outpost Lego store and also seeing what we want done with the Friends Tower. Perhaps we could even try to make it fit with the Star Wars theme and start building up the buildings both on the right and left hand side of the city so thank you so much for making it to the end of the video let me know what else you'd like to see in the city in the comments i'm always open to your suggestions don't forget to drop a like if you did make it this far and may the bricks be with you always